The monkeypox virus has now found its way into 48 states, infecting more than 6,600 Americans. But you're not going to get sick by using a public restroom or brushing up against someone on the street. The overwhelming majority is close physical contact. You're not going to catch it riding on the subway. Dr. John White is the chief medical officer at WebMD. He says the majority of monkeypox cases spread through close physical contact with a rash or bodily fluids. It can also spread through respiratory secretions during prolonged or intimate contact, and although uncommon, through contact with contaminated linens or clothes. That's really only a risk if you live with someone who's infected. What is unclear is if you can give monkeypox to your pets. The advice right now is to err on the side of caution. Right now, if you have monkeypox, you might want to have your pets stay with a friend or a neighbor. Perhaps the biggest misconception surrounding monkeypox is that it's an STD or only a risk to men who have sex with men. Dr. David Kilnick is the president of New York LGBTQ Network and says that is the wrong message. This is a disease right now that is impacting gay and bisexual men more than other communities. We should not shy away from that because if we shy away from that, the resources are not going to come to our community. But we also need to make sure that everyone knows that this disease does not discriminate. Kilnick says the resources need to come faster. Today, 23,000 more vaccine appointments that opened up in New York City were gone in minutes. The city also opened up five new clinics to try and get more doses to more people. The Biden administration says the public health emergency will expedite the process. Today, we announced that 600,000 Genios vaccines out of 1.1 million have arrived in jurisdictions across the country. So out of 1.1 million, we have a significant amount, and that's really focused on hard hit areas like New York City.